happened to that British homestead. Today, I thought I'd address the thing that I get moaned at the most, the thing that winds you up the most about this plot. And look, yep, I'm gonna tidy it up. Let's get started. I have to say that I am not the tidiest of people in the world. And I always joke that I free range my tools. <laughs> um, and I know that some people think it's really annoying. I would put the hose away as well, but frozen stiff. So sadly not today, it's not its day. But yeah, I thought I'd, as the ground is absolutely frozen stiff, right? And it is minus four degrees. It's not very much to do down here in the allotment. So it's tidy up time. So because it is so unnaturally cold down here on the allotment, the ground's actually frozen. So I can't actually shovel any form of manure. So I'm going to be tidying up the allotment. Now, when I told one of the members of the allotment down here, as we all talk to each other when we're down here. She was just two allotments over. She asked me, well, what have you been doing down the allotment? And I did tell her that I was tidying up. She was staggered. She was like, wow, I've never seen you tidy up ever on your allotment. And I'm very renowned for it. Um, I was also minding one of the fires for the one of the other allotment tiers down here. Um, like I said, we all try to help each other out. And when we're down here, we all end up having chat and a cup of tea and all sorts so it's a really great job so i've been meaning to tidy up and pick up the little bits like that you kind of like end up scattering around the allotment for a while now it is one of those things that you kind of put to the side in summer your big focus is basically just to harvest you have no time for anything else but to harvest in spring you have no time because you are preparing and planting out or even sowing and all you're doing is sowing watering sowing watering sowing watering and making sure that your little seedlings do not get damaged by the frost now in autumn my big focus is to get all the big beds per bed we've seen that you've seen me wheelbarrow in a whole heap of horse manure and basically spread it across the beds to make sure that everything is in the sort of order that it needs to be for spring but now that the beds have all frozen over, it's kind of like the kind of kick that I need to get this place sort of ship shape. Pick up all the bits of broken pot, pick up all the bits of label and to ensure that everything that I need is put away. I'm getting to the point where I cannot find anything and I know I get lots of comments saying, oh, how do you find anything? Or maybe even that, it would be a lot quicker if I were to go ahead and to put things away, completely agree. That's why I thought I'd take this time where I can't feasibly do anything down here on the allotment. There's nothing I can do. So I'm going to make sure that I'm doing something a bit productive, pick up some of this just leftover rubbish that I've neglected and left around the allotment. And I know that other people will be feeling this too. And quite frankly, quite frankly, my friend, if I had anything remotely more interesting to look at, I'd probably be doing that. But at this moment in time, there's nothing. This is the thing about winter. There's so much to do, but the weather really prevents you from doing things. And that's good because the weather forces you to take a moment, sit back and relax a little bit or do things that you've got right down at the bottom of your priority list, like tidying up the pots and everything of the allotment and ensuring that you've picked up plastic, etc. It's not a very glamorous job, it's not a very interesting job, but it is a job that needs to be done nonetheless. And it does make the whole place look way more pleasant when it is done. But like I said, just like a child being told to tidy my bedroom, I'm, it's not something that I'm going to rush to do. If there's anything else, like for example, summer, I'll be harvesting. Most of the autumn, I'll be doing beds. Come in spring, I'll be planting plants out, sowing seeds and continuing with the beds. In fact, on Monday, it's apparently going to warm up. After I shot this video, it actually snowed. 
and tonight it's meant to be minus six so it is still very very chilly but apparently next week it's going to warm right up which is a bit sad because it's so nice to have fresh snow for Christmas isn't it we never have snow for Christmas so I was actually quite excited about having this snow for Christmas but I'm sure that we'll enjoy Christmas all the same without the snow and more excitingly so I'm I'm a little well not, I'm not worried but I would like to get some carrots for Christmas dinner and at the moment the carrots are solid in the ground but it is what it is. The worst things have happened than me having to go to Asda to get carrots because I was silly and didn't harvest them. Or even going without carrots is not the end of the world, is it? It's not. Even if it's Christmas, it's not the end of the world. I am spending a lot of time when it's cold and rainy and freezing outside, curled up and planning next year. I think that we all do i think it's really important to plan ahead and i definitely am going to ensure that my summer is more spent planting more seeds so that i have more things growing this time of year however i don't know how well things are going to overwinter considering the frosty weather we are having now so it's one of those things isn't it you never know what mother nature is going to be throwing at you because you never know what's going to be the next season you could have a really wet spring or a really dry spring a drought all summer long and then a frozen winter and it kind of throws your plan out the window but we'll see how it goes i the good thing about having such a cold winter and such a frost and all this snow and minus six and all that sort of jazz is that i do kind of hope that it will encourage some of the insects not to overwinter properly and i know that sounds horrible but i do hope some of the caterpillars do tend not to come back which would be quite nice maybe we'll have a lighter pest season next year which would be very very exciting for me now saying that we don't know what's going to happen next year but i kind of always kind of bear in mind the things that have happened in the last few years my availability of time etc so i will be planting things according to my own schedule and what i normally do i am going to be very conscious of my greenhouse and I will not turn off the heater because what I did last year do you remember when I killed all my seedlings I was so gutted so if I don't do that I'm hoping that I will be able to have lovely seeds all the way up um, until the last frost and then I'll be able to plant them out and have like a step forward and a fast step to be able to basically have lovely seedlings ready to be planting out i had such a good year this year in terms of tomato peppers and eggplants or aubergines depending on how you want it and even squashes i got oodles of squashes that i've still yet to get through which is very exciting for me so i do want to move into the brassicas and ensure that i have tons and tons of brassicas for the summer long period also i would like to have some more say carrots and swedes and things like that i think the thing that i did this year is that i spent too much time focusing on my summer summer harvest which is one of my most favorite harvests. i absolutely adore growing tomatoes i actually really like making tomato sauce as well there's nothing better than opening up a jar of homemade tomato sauce and having that taste of summer in the winter. It's one of my favorite things to do. And there's nothing better than growing and eating a meal that you've made from actual scratch, from seed I'm talking. That is phenomenal and there is nothing that tastes better. So I am, um, it started, it all starts off with me being a foodie, doesn't it? A little bit of a foodie. So I am already planning my dinners for next year. I'm already planting the garlic that's going to go into my lasagnas and bolognese, etc. So it is the sort of planning that only gardeners do if you want to eat something next year you need to be planning it in winter so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be planning to grow a whole host of tomatoes same as this year ah uh, 
even more squashes and I will be trying to make some more of the squash flour etc and trying to use that in different recipes it is very very exciting to be able to have like such a variety of things growing in the garden and having such good access to all sorts of different seeds because we're able to have things like that because of where we are really the wonderful 9a zone that we do live in does allow us to have all sorts of of vegetables to have access to because normally we're quite a mild climate i mean at the moment it's absolutely freezing but i dare say that we're going to get over this very soon and it's going to be wonderful memories of snow right by christmas time which is just magical isn't it and we are very lucky i think it's very easy in the time not to see things for the benefits they are but I do have to say it's been, apart from driving in the snow, it's been lovely. It's been a lovely adventure. I quite like the um, walking Bailey in the snow because he just is a different dog in the snow. He absolutely loves snow and he likes rolling in it and smelling it and running around, etc. I just think that's so incredibly cool and nice for him to have that experience because this is his first year having snow. Mental. The last time we had snow, Jasmine was absolutely teeny tiny. So for her, it's been an adventure too. And we made a snowman, which was awesome. Um, although Jasmine said it was a snow blob, not a snowman. I think she was trying to say that my architecturally genius wasn't good enough, basically. But it is one of these experiences that when you are an adult, you get to look back on. Or even in a few years' time, I'll look back at it and smile and remember the time that we had snow. So it is a really exciting experience. But at the meantime, it does give me the opportunity to tidy up, which is very much needed. And I know that I'm going to benefit from the organisation of this for the coming season. I do know that I do need to spend some time sort of focusing on cleaning out my greenhouse. That is on my to-do list. Don't get me wrong. If it is going to be frosty again, it will be high up on the old to-do list. But if the frost clears, I will be carrying on with my beds. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I just wanted to say that I really appreciate you. And if you can, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And I'll see you next time. See you later.